Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. I just wanted to record a quick video about some of the media's lies regarding Pastor Roger Jimenez. I mean, the titles to these news articles, the headlines are just, they're so misleading, it's mind-blowing, okay? I keep seeing all these news articles with titles like, Family of Pastor Jimenez is horrified by his comments, or Pastor Jimenez's family condemns his comments. Okay, here's the truth, people. His mother supports him, his father supports him, his brother supports him, his sister supports him, his cousin who lives in Sacramento supports him, his aunt supports him, his wife supports him, his children support him, his family back in Venezuela support him, his family in the United States support him, but yet they have the gall to post an article called, you know, oh, his, his family condemns his statements because his wife's stepsister condemned his comments, okay? This is not his family, okay? This is not even a blood relative. His wife's stepsister is the one who condemned the comments, but they don't want to mention all the family that supports him, all of his real family who supports him, okay? Not only that, but you just see all these headlines, you know, hundreds show out to protest and condemn Pastor Jimenez's words. Okay, sure, there were hundreds of people there to protest, but what these articles have all so far failed to mention is that he had 281 people in the building supporting him. Why don't they say, hey, hundreds are supporting Pastor Jimenez. Hundreds have turned out and rallied with Pastor Jimenez. No, they only talk about the hundreds of dissenters and then they even had the gall to say, in one of the articles I was looking at at sacb.com, they said, an ethically diverse crowd of 75 people were in the church. And look, it's not that they just got their information wrong. It's a bold-faced lie because in the Sac B article, they even said that they were inside the service. Well, any idiot who's inside that service knows that there's more than 75 people there. I mean, if there's 281 people in the building, you're not gonna accidentally think it's 75. That's just a bold-faced lie. And, you know, the Sacramento Bee is the largest newspaper in Sacramento. And so, you know, people need to contact them about this website, sacbee.com, where they run this story. Oh, there's 75 people there. Because they want you to think that everybody is a pervert or loves perverts. They don't want you to realize that there are a ton of normal people out there who don't believe in this crap, okay? So they just lie, and, oh yeah, his whole family condemns him. Oh yeah, you know, there were 75 people inside and thousands outside. You know, they just try to make it seem like it's some fringe minority, when in reality, there were almost 300 people in that church supporting him, and when in reality, all of his family members agree with him. You know, he contacted a company to put up some temporary fencing in the church parking lot, Oh, just a random company. And they said, we are support you. We'll give you a 40% discount. You know, once they found out who he was, the price literally dropped by hundreds of dollars. Okay. Same thing when he called the security company. They said, hey, we're supporting you. Okay. Uh, but the media just wants to brainwash everyone to make them think that nobody agrees with Pastor Jimenez. Everybody thinks he's an idiot. No, they don't. But the media always uses this tactic. They've been using it for years. That, that's why this, you know, sodomite agenda even goes forward because they basically just put so much of it on TV where people think that it's just the norm and that everybody accepts it and everybody agrees with it. That's their tactic. The devil wants you to feel like you're all alone when you, when you take a stand for the word of God, that you're all by yourself. Anyway, these are just a couple of the blatant lies that I'm seeing. You know, lying about Pastor Jimenez's family and lying about the amount of people who were at church. Look, praise the Lord that 281 people were in that service. And, you know, I, I thought that was really exciting. But it's just such a shame that the world is being lied to by people like Fox News and the Sacramento Bee. They don't even know what really happened. And this should just go to show people you cannot trust anything that the media tells you. You know, we have to be the media. We have to show up. I mean, look, the only way that we can show that these people are liars about how many people were in church is the fact that a whole bunch of people whipped out their cell phone and filmed the congregation. You can see that there's hundreds of people there, okay? But uh, we need to be the media. We need to report the truth on things. We need to be whipping out our cell phones and basically filming 
incidents that we come across in order to get the truth out. But not only that, you know, you have to physically show up places. We can't just live our lives online and, and just, you know, reading things and watching videos. You know, get your butt over to Verity Baptist Church and see for yourself. You know, come to Faithful Word Baptist Church. People are saying that I'm, that, you know, there, there were even uh, the conspiracy theories out there that, that you know, Faith Forward Baptist Church doesn't exist. I'm an actor. It's all fake. Or whatever. Well, you know what? Why don't you come on down and see if it's fake? Why don't you, you know, show up at church and you'll find hundreds of people that are sincere, that love God, that know the Bible. You know, we need to, uh, we need to expose the media. So, <clears throat> you know, don't buy into these lies about Pastor Jimenez and, and don't buy into anything that they're saying. If you want to know where Pastor Jimenez stands, why don't you listen to his full sermon? You know, the full 45-minute sermon that he preached on Sunday night or the one he preached yesterday on Sunday morning. Don't just get these little snippets and sound bites from people who will stoop to telling the most brazen lies where, seven, you know, where 281 becomes 75 to these people. God bless you. Have a great day.